13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, four locals are among the 150 people around the world arrested for buying or selling illegal goods online. This was part of one of the largest dark web stings. International police confiscated millions of dollars worth of cash and digital currencies, as well as weapons and drugs. They were also able to shut down two online marketplaces that sold illegal goods. Well, after EDC closed out this weekend and the multiple sporting events in the city left, a new record high was set. On Friday, nearly 27,000 Uber, Lyft and taxi riders served travelers arriving at Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. Now, this was the highest single day total since early 2020. Well, you can ring in the new year with the legendary Kristen Chenoweth. Now, she is bringing her new show to the Smith Center December 31st. She plans to pay musical tribute to Dolly Parton, Ariana Grande, Reba McIntyre, and many more. Tickets start at $45, and they are on sale now. Danny. The breeze settles down our Tuesday evening as the sky remains clear, but temperatures are going to be chilly at our warmest today, below average in the upper 60s, so by 10 p.m., just in the upper 50s, getting even colder approaching sunrise tomorrow. Our lows in the Las Vegas Valley, upper 40s, low 50s. So you'll want the heavier jackets heading out the door Wednesday morning. From here, we do warm up. Highs to climb back to the 70s Wednesday, upper 70s Thursday and Friday. We're close to 80 degrees on Saturday. The breeze picks up this weekend, so on Halloween, expect a partly cloudy sky and breezy wind, but temperatures are comfortable. We'll hold in the mid to upper 70s through the start of next week. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.